Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. Skilled nursing facilities and assisted living centers treating COVID-19 patients have experienced a 1,064% increase in costs for required personal protective equipment since the deadly virus started its rampage in the United States. The rise is even higher, 1,084% for those using nitrile gloves due to vinyl glove shortages or allergies reported by the Society for Healthcare Organization Procurement Professionals or SHOP, S-H-O-P-P. The group's analysis attributes the huge price increase to supply and demand factors, as well as the increased number of items mandated for safety and the call for frequent changes. Figures for the analysis were calculated using market pricing plugged into the CDC guidelines per new guidance issued by CMS on April 2nd, 2020. The new guidelines call for numerous changes for protective equipment for every employee in a covered facility with a COVID-19 positive patient. As more product comes into the market, prices should start to recede, but the increase of government and situational requirements combined with temporarily halted manufacturing in China created a lethal lag. The largest reported price increases have been for isolation gowns, 2,000%, N95 masks, 1,513%, three-ply masks, 1,500%, and reusable face shields, 900%. The most remarkable rise was for 3M N95 masks, which rose from $0.11 cents to $6.75 each. That's a 6,136% increase, though they are currently unavailable. Soap, 184%, and nitrile gloves at 200% were the only products of the 11 listed to cost double or less. When COVID-19 originally broke out in China around the beginning of the year, the U.S. sent a lot of safety products to help. But when the deadly virus landed on American shores a couple of months later, Chinese industry was in the middle of a months-long shutdown and the favor couldn't be reciprocated. There hasn't been enough products since and distribution vehicles have become unreliable as competition for safety products across the globe heats up. There was nearly a shipment from overseas to boost U.S. providers recently, but the cargo had a stopover in another country en route and that country decided to keep the safety products for themselves. The speed and volatility of change is making it difficult to predict the future. Federal officials are allowing advanced Medicare billing and payments so that providers won't have to dip into their accounts receivable credit lines as quickly. Providers can also ask their vendors for flexible payment terms in these challenging times and let them know payment terms might have to be extended. It was also emphasized that the report is not pointing a finger at price gouging or big for the big price increases. Rather, it is basic market forces such as supply and demand and distribution challenges. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report and we'll see you next time.